tomorrow, you can explore the art of conversation during an insightful evening at the Racer. The Center for the Arts in Beaverton presents Jada Boomrod, How to Talk to a Human. The event is hosted by the award-winning podcast host and creator of the public radio program, Radio Lab. Jad joins us right now to tell us about his upcoming talk and why the art of conversation is so important for success. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's talk about this, me. how to talk to a human. It's a why, good question. It, I need to learn how is. to do that. It's a good one. <laughs> why, why is that such an important, really, art, a skill that people have to hone? Well, you know, I mean, I so I, I've, I've done thousands of interviews, and I found myself at the end of my tenure at Radio Lab um, having trouble, like just having trouble connecting with people, having trouble, like, have doing those great interviews where everybody feels like they've discovered something. And so um, I just tried to reach out to everyone I could think of who does this for a living, other journalists, oral historians, therapists, conflict mediators, hostage negotiators, salespeople. And I just kept doing interviews about interviewing. And um, basically it's been about 120 interviews in. And um, this talk is going to be just me sharing what I learned. Like, Tips and tricks on how to actually break through and slow down and listen and connect. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but is there a little a little piece that you can kind of share or a little tease that you can give us? Well, you know, there's a real power in um, in conflict mediation. Here's a, here's a thing that I, I find really useful. There's a real power in asking somebody if you heard them correctly which is a thing that we don't do very often. Typically, we take what someone says in and then we react. But very often, we miss that step where we say, I think you said this. Did I hear that correctly? And then um, making, giving them a chance to correct you if, if you heard them incorrectly. But it also shows the other person that you're really trying to understand, and it uh, disarms people. So I would say that's a really good, subtle technique that I've started using constantly. Interesting. Mm, that is interesting. Yeah, that's a good way to phrase it. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is something that you know Travis and I uh, work on and still work on, but but do every day, right? Interviewing and having conversations. And 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 Jad, you know, this is your world. But what can folks who think, well, I don't do interviews, uh, what, what are they going to take away from this conversation at the Reser? Well, I think anyone who's ever had a the uh, experience of just feeling awkward in a conversation, not knowing how to like what to say. Uh, whether that's with a spouse or a family member. I mean, listen, Thanksgiving is coming up. There are going to be a lot of awkward conversations around the table. <laughs> so anybody who's worried about that, I think, I mean, most of what I'm going to be talking about is not for interviewers. Uh, it's not for professionals. It's mostly just like, how do we connect in this moment where it seems really hard to? Um, so I think I think anyone will get something out of this talk. There you I go. can't wait to have that moment at the Thanksgiving dinner table where it's like, are you going to propose yet, Travis? And I'll be like, did I hear you correctly? Did I hear you correctly? <laughs> are you so concerned about my, yes. <laughs> oh, Jan, it's been great to talk to you. In, enjoy the presentation. It's, it's really insightful. Thank you so much. All right, take care. And again, you can catch all that insight at How to Talk to a Human. That's tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. at the Reser in Beaverton. For tickets, go to the Reser.